Welcome to this week's Peace Tips and Tricks, part of the Holistic Collaboration Series, and I am Sherry Bainbridge. And today we're talking about building the ego on other people's backs. Specifically, how damaging and hurtful comparing in unhealthy ways gossiping can cause. And this is fascinating because science has proven it. When we have this type of unhealthy thinking, it actually damages part of the brain that could heal us. Our neurons bypass this healthier part of our brain. Now, in Eastern philosophy, you've told your brain you don't need that part of brain, right? So why should it waste its time using something that is no longer necessary? It gets bypassed. Now, I'm a believer that even though people can bypass and damage part of their brains, that we can always do the opposite and heal our brains. So this week, start noticing how you choose to compare. Here's a healthy comparison. Dang, Susan looks great in that outfit, and she has the same body type that I have. Look how it cinches just where it should. And then I'll go over and tell her how wonderful she looks. And then I'll remember that outfit so that when I'm out shopping, <laughs> I can look for something that fits just like that. The unhealthy ego would be comparing, well, compared to me, and eh, it doesn't quite look as good as it could. You know where that would go. If you're with a relative that has unhealthy thinking, that continual complaining in your head, that looped thinking does exactly the same way. So let's not forget that our egos are precious. They have a place in our life. They help us look younger, to be more active, to get outside our box, to quit being so rigid. It's a wonderful thing to have this ego that has a balance and a place. So when you feel that emotion rise of superiority for whatever reason you think it's for, you're damaging your health. You're damaging your brain. You're damaging what you attract to your life. And honestly, I want to make a better choice. So give it a try. Now, if this is the type of content you're interested in, please let YouTube know I'm here. Give me a thumbs up. Vacation, sometimes a subscribe doesn't work so well. That way you'll get notified. Thank you for doing that. This week's tips and tricks is a creative way to easily, with no mess, repair a hole in a wall. And after that, I am sharing with you from the Connecting Poetry book that's now available on Amazon, one of the poems that directly relates to gauging the ego. I hope you like it. Please let me know and please comment.
Connecting Poetry, a book on Amazon by Sherry Bainbridge. Gauging the Ego. Set the ego aside today. Love and hug it, then put it away. It is there if you need to retrieve. Always around, it will never leave. Ego waits every moment for its own amusement. Ready to lead you adrift. Inclined to steal your gifts. Unhindered and undaunted, it will abuse. Anchorless, it will exploit you as its muse. Damaging with harsh, defeating criticisms. Self-inflicting, deadly comparison fatalism. Convinced that it is totally worthless. Believing it as thoroughly useless. Costly and mistaken notions to reevaluate. As this gauge also has the ability to regulate. It forces up contradictive emotion, scrutinizing the truth of devotion. The ego helps uncover that which needs to revise. Properly used, it is an impressively accurate device. Aiding in healthy self-competition, supreme for internal observation. Be respectful of its vain misleading dangers. Carefully, honestly, Use it only to empower. Thank you. Thank you for joining me this week. I hope to see you next week. Namaste. Namaste.